Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. Uh, my name is Amr Abdullah. I am the scholar in residence uh, of the Baker Institute for Peace and Conflict Studies. Uh, it is my honor and the honor of my colleagues at the Institute to welcome all of you uh, to this uh, international symposium on the war of your, in Ukraine uh, international perspectives, global perspectives. Uh, we are pleased with uh, all the selection of the colleagues who will join us today, whether in person or in Zoom. And we look forward to uh, a rich discussion and reflections, uh, not only from the speakers, but also, of course, from the audience, whether in person or in on Zoom. Uh, I think that will uh, reflect uh, the principles and values of participation and engagement uh, that we adhere to at the Institute. Uh, we have, uh, I think, uh, um, a very uh, significant program today, given the unique selection of our speakers. Uh, the program today will uh, consist of two uh, main uh, panel discussions. Uh, one discussion will focus on the perspectives on the war in Ukraine uh, from the Eurasian and European angle. And the second uh, panel will focus on uh, regional perspectives from Latin America, Africa, and Asia. We will, uh, for each of the presentations uh, or the panels, we will have one of our uh, distinguished colleagues from Julianta College uh, moderating the session, plus the speakers, whether in person or uh, via Zoom. I would like to, and we will have, of course, between the two sessions, we will have a break. There will be coffee and tea outside. And uh, we will plan to finish by 12.30. I, I encourage you to um, make use of this important event to, to engage and to share your perspectives and uh, to ask questions of uh, the speakers. It is, uh, as we all know, the situation in Ukraine and the war is uh, shifting by the day. I still remember, by the way, that when we were planning this activity and we were thinking to do it in November, my colleagues there at that time had different expectations of where this conflict would be today. And actually, a week ago, I reminded them, and, um, and none of us thought that it would be where it is now. Let us hope that it will be in a better position tomorrow. And maybe with the contribution and knowledge that we will generate in this, that we can envision how peace can be achieved. I would like to invite my colleague and my boss, <laughs> uh, Dr. Zion Han, uh, to come and welcome all of you. Thank you, Omar. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. So I'm Zia Halk. I'm the director of the Baker Institute for Peace and Conflict Studies. Um, the Baker Institute mission is to study warfare as human problems and peace as human potential. So in continuation of this mission, we apply the resources of the academic community to understand the unfolding dynamics of war that threaten global peace and security. As you probably know that the Russian war against Ukraine continues to have a devastating impact on the people of Ukraine and their infrastructure, their livelihoods. So millions of Ukrainians were forced to flee and straining the humanitarian capacities in neighboring countries and also undermining the security of the region and also of the goal. So with the recent bridge of Russian missile strike and, and drones attacks on the Ukrainian civilian infrastructure, I cannot think of a better time to host this international symposium on the Ukraine war, global perspective. I'm extremely grateful to my colleagues, Dr. Amar Abdala, Caitlin, my department's colleagues, Alison Fletcher, Henry, uh, Dr. Jim Borger and Uma Ramakrishnan for the support and organization of this event. This morning, we have the honor to 
present six distinguished guest speakers from almost all the continents of the world to bring your perspective to help us understand this, what's happening in Ukraine and what are the global implications of the world. Please give them a round of applause and welcome to Juliana for sharing their time with us. I hope you will engage, ask questions, and enjoy the conversation. Thank you.